Ladies and gentlemen, it's Jesse and Wow Crendor, and uh, say hello, Wow Crendor. Hey, good, good job, buddy. We are about to go into Skullmance. I'm in. And see if there's any new stuff in here if they've added it yet. Here's hoping. Fingers crossed. Dun 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 dun. The beginning looks the exact same. <laughs> it does. It's okay. That's okay. They're it's still good. It's still good. Right, they're lower level. Which means they did change it. Because it used to be in the 50s. Like late 50s. There's definitely something new down here. Oh yeah, what the hell is this? Instructor Chillheart. Yeah, they've they've done some updating. I wish all the bosses had Russian accents. You are on that kick today, aren't you? I am. So what is he doing? Just killing these... Neophytes, just cause? He's absorbing this circus tense power. <laughs> Give me the power of the circus tent. The power of 20 clowns. <laughs> not 10, not 15, 20. <laughs> oh man, right, this could be crazy. Let's see what this guy can do. Excuse me, sir. Don't flame shock him this time. I'm not. Oh, damn. Oh, he kills everyone in the room? Uh, did he take their powers, or... What the F? Okay, so you can't leave the room. Apparently. Should I try? D does does the, the... Circus artifact have something to do with this fight? Turns out I can leave the room. It just hurts to walk away. Well, derp. <laughs> okay, so touch of the grave and frostbolt. Hit Ugh, a few times. Super slowed. Can we use this now? So what happens if we attack him? I'm like, ah! So let let my let my thing do some damage. I'm kiting him. Uh, what? Uh, uh, now you killed. Ooh! Him. Destroy it! Oh! Die, circus! <laughs> Die, circus! <laughs> Famous battle cry, Wild Crendor 2012. food anyway. So wait, that's it? Like, then he dies inside of it? That's kind of cool. Yeah. I like that they... This area, if I remember correctly, was a giant pain in the ass originally. It's just a big grind fest. And wasn't this the entrance over here before? There yep. used to be an exit right here. There's and the now they moved it to over here. Because over here last time was the... Oh, uh, yeah. There was a succubus that you had to kill for a quest that was, like, wandering around over here. And you but other than that, this room was... Because you can still see stuff on the map, right? Yeah, look at this. Or there's wait, another. There's like a mini entrance under here. What is this for? Oh, this this is sort of a hey, look, look over there. There's things down there. That's oh, but that was the crypt area before. That's oh. where you'd go out, and then people would have to do their thing, right? Or no? Where was the place where you went out on Good the balcony? Good description, pal. Good description. <laughs> There's the balcony, and you had to go out on the balcony, and you'd use blood. You remember? And then the bat came. The gargoyle. That was this place? Yeah. Pretty sure of it. I don't remember that at all. It was an optional thing. It was for, like, a quest line. Are you sure that's an accurate statement? I'm pretty positive about it. Maybe they'll even have it somewhere in here. I remember this part. This was the basement last time, if I remember, and you didn't have to come down here, but there was a quest that, that you know, took you down here. Yeah. Oh, who is this asshole? Okay, we just aggroed Candlestick Mage. Oh, Candlestick Mage. <laughs> it's like fear my candlestick. <laughs> Lamest of all the mages. <laughs> I have the power of lighting up a room. <laughs> We're essential! You can't do anything without us! <laughs> and there's the great candlestick. No, uh... I think I recall what you were talking about, but that was in the room that... Uh, I don't remember if that was this dungeon or not. It has to be. I suppose it was, yeah, because I can't remember any other it was undead in the dungeon bone besides... Room. Oh, who bone is this room. Chick? Yeah, Barov! Okay, yeah, this was the chick you had to follow down here. Before you just chased her down here. Now she actually chills out here. Now she's like, "This my, this my place, home, homie." <laughs> Those were my candles. They were scented, <laughs> scented. The 
greatest of all the oh Yankee candles. Whoa. Okay, that is a go thing. stand in it. She vanished. Oh, what the? Whoa! Um, can we target? Should oh, we right hit one. Like... I hit one and it exploded. That's this pretty one. awesome. I want that ah, ability. Maybe. Knowing warlocks, this expansion, they'll probably give it to warlocks. <laughs> okay, so what's this room? This oh, is this the is bone the, room. This... this is the room it was in. And it was over here. Yeah, okay. It was, yeah. It was like over here, and then you'd go out on the balcony. You sure? I'm... This doesn't look like the original bone room. It, well, it's close no, to No, it. it's this balcony right over here. Right over here. Yeah, See? there it is. Yeah, all I knew right. That wasn't crazy. No, I just, I just, it, I kept thinking this place was underground, and I was like, how would there be a balcony underground? <laughs> but when you think about it, where else would they put it? Because there's no, you know, there's no balcony place in Strathome. Hey, there's Lillian Voss. Oh, Lillian Voss! Yes. It's killing all the skeletons. So for people who don't know, Lillian Voss is a character from the Undead One through Ten starting zone, and she's in a, uh, I think. Western Plague Lands as well. Uh, well, at least there's hints of her. And Lillian Voss is a character who you help wake up. And it turns out that she is basically not too thrilled about being undead. And it turns out her dad is a member of the Scarlet Crusade. And she goes pretty crazy when you find out that, she, that her dad killed her. Or had her killed, I can't remember which. And she basically becomes a, a super undead assassin... And she gains, like, ultra mega powers. And, yeah. She's amazing. She is one of the best lore characters they created in Cataclysm, by far. Look at how cool this bone guy looks. What? This little bone warlock guy. Just kill him. He has, like, a goat face of bone. <laughs> just, just kill him. <laughs> oh, we have to, do we have to silence these things? Oh, uh, I don't know. Like oh, we gotta kill all the bone summoners. Run, Necromancer! Your life ends. Oh, come, boss! Your fate awaits you. It's Dark Master Gandling. She's chasing him. Oh, damn it! She's leaving us behind. Well, I'm pretty sure we have to. Oh God, they're forming something. They're oh, forming. it's the guy who was in the basement, Rattlegore. Remember oh, boy, last time? Last time, in order to get a. What the hell was that? Did you just cast that? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> last time in order to fight this guy, you had to go into the basement of the like original Skullamance, and there was a, just a pile of bones down there. Like you could, th there were holes you could jump down into. Let's kill this guy. Rattlegar. Oh, that was the douchebag in the basement. That's what I just said. <laughs> well, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, clearly. Okay, that spreads around the room. Did you see that? It was slowly spreading. I did. Pretty sure if, if that fight would have lasted longer, he would have killed us. Probably. With the fire. Probably not, but whatever. Who's this guy? Oh, it's the... Co oh, look what they did. Remember how last time there were the different rooms, right? Yeah. And this guy was at the end of one of the rooms. Now they sort of made it like a path that leads through the dungeon rather than you having to choose one of the four rooms. That's pretty, pretty awesome. So hold on. So this is the Carver guy. No, this is just one of his minions. So he's going to be at the end. Yes. Die, meat uh, graft. I look like Fester Gut. Wait, you can attack his grafty meat? <laughs> the hell kind of? This guy doesn't die. I think we have to attack his little, his little parts. Oh. Die, meat graft. Stupid meat grafts. They're worse oh. than regular grafts. <laughs> Worst type of skin graft, the meat graft. Oh, when you kill a guy next to another guy, he gains like, he's like, scent of blood, and he goes crazy. Watch this. Duh, five. I said five. See, look, then a buff goes out, and he's like, Source of the crimson. Spirits of crimson. Not the sword. Spurts of the Crim Crimson is a great emo band, though. <laughs> Spurts of the Crimson. I 
feel like an open wound, flushing blood. Yeah, it represents my pain. Bag me. Oh, oh. What's down here? Oh, she's down there. Cool. Okay, let's let's not go there yet. I don't think we can anyway. Remember, um, in the original, this was just a place where there was like library shelves and stuff, and this entrance over here, this gate took you to the basement. Down under. I remember that vividly because then this way over here, um, what were stairs that went down, and there was a doorway in there, and that doorway, what, like you had to have a, a special key in order to get anything out of it. Oh yeah, and then there were whelps in there. Yeah, so they changed that completely. Just gotta keep beating up his meat. Beat we are literally beating this meat. guy's meat. I'm beat not sure. That Again. Meat. Again. <laughs> Se second dungeon in a row. We're very suggestive. Just saying, please. Just fall. saying. They do want uh, bananas in the mouth hole. Okay, let's do this. Yeah! Meat crafts. So you can't attack him directly, because that does no damage. I mean, I guess you could, but you just got to beat his meat and kill him. Which, again, very suggestive. And then I he explodes. All right. Did you forget, girl? I am the Dark Master. I command the undead. <laughs> She's freaking See? floating in there. Yeah, Lillian Voss, like, at the end of the quest line. Nigga. She becomes like a Super Saiyan at the end of the quest line. It's pretty great. Lids on our guests and fetch me their bones. Oh no, Lillian! We have to fight her? Uh oh. I don't want to fight Lillian Voss. I can't fight him. Can we save her? I think she'll stop fighting us after a while. Yeah, remember this was the area where, like, this is the Vault of Souls, which is locked. Yeah. You need a key for that still. And then this area over here led you, like, further down in. Which is probably what'll happen. Pretty awesome. See, I, I like what they did. Um, they took a dungeon that was really overly complicated for no reason, and they uh, sort of simplified it, which I'm sure some people will be like, oh, that sucks. Ooh, I'm so butthurt. They simplified it. Simplifying doesn't mean making it easy, though. That's Wait, what, what most people think. Oh, 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 oh. What oh. the F? I'm going to go shadow form, too. Wait, hold on, what? Dot, dot, dot. Lillian's soul fixes on mo- Can we save her? I feel horrible killing Lillian. She's trying to kill you. Yeah, but she's awesome. Oh, hold on. Go to waste. Oh, he rezzed her. But her soul is still... I don't even understand. Yeah, some hack your mo- Hmm, I don't know. I mean, I get it. I just feel like we should be trying to save her. Don't follow me in the wake of my fire. <laughs> should I fight the soul? Should I kill it? What's the buff she has? Many attacks deal fire damage. Okay, so what about this? So let's verify. If if you kill her body. Oh, oh, oh! What? She's, she's riding me! Look, she got her soul back. She awesome. All right, that's me. all I wanted. I just didn't want to kill her. I didn't want to bug out. The bones. the bones, you wretch! Oh, oh! Can we talk to her? Hey, Lillian. Leave me to die alone, please. No, woman. Well, the storyline with that's gonna be epic. Oh wait, she what is needs this? a hug. The coffer. Gotten souls. That did absolutely nothing. It disappeared. Okay, it did that. Yeah. Uh, I wonder how that storyline relates. I'm really looking forward to the uh, quest line for this dungeon now. Oh, yeah, I, again, I will say I loved that character. Lillian Voss is a great lore character for uh, Cataclysm. So much <laughs> love, students. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. This is what you get for not studying. This is for not being educated. That's amazing. All, they're all bored. Oh my <laughs> god. Okay. Okay, they were just looking for a fight. Don't worry. I'll avoid tendril them. Probably should, probably should put that back on. Good work, pal. 
It doesn't really kill them, it just traps them. But it's awesome looking. Don't worry, I'll do all the killing. I trapped them, I did my part. Okay, uh, who is this? Professor Slate. Professor Slate. What is that an, what is that a reference to? I don't know. Somebody That's a will know. Something. I still don't remember what that is. Ooh, what is he? Okay, so he throws that. Come on. Ow! Ow! Stop! Okay, and then he turns into a giant monster. Terrific. So he's basically the one guy who's like, Good news, friends! That guy from ICC. Oh. Uh, except they changed his name. And they made him a lot less powerful. And he's Without a boring slime. professor. And he's just a boring professor. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Remember, this is where they had this thing split. Let's let's verify yeah. that we can go in this place still. Can we go in these? No. Oh, this is where he sends you during the fight. Ooh. So it's no longer accessible because before he wouldn't even show up. Remember, you'd have to summon him by killing all the guys up top and all the guys down below. Yeah. And to clear the eight rooms, which is why this dungeon took forever and a day. Now. Flesh test subject? What the hell is going on in there? Okay, let's go down and engage this guy. We won't actually do any damage to him, but uh, let's see what happens. Okay. They gave him like a new hat, too. That's fancy. The hat. Agro PH. Agro PH. I dotted him. P strong enough for a warlock. <laughs> PH balanced for a woman. His PH is too acidic. No wonder he's such a dick. <laughs> it's like hard oh, burn. The, okay. Whoa. Kill all the zombies to escape. He only took you. Yeah, that's kind of how the fight works. I know. I'm trying to find... Oh, there you are. Look, I'm looking at you uh, through the no, gate. No, you have to fight... Like, I have to fight my way out. You can't save me. I'm looking at you through the gate, though. Thanks, buddy. These flesh yeah, test subjects probably could have helped. <laughs> probably. They're sitting there. Where's test subjects? Anything else this guy does? Bam. Bam. Mind play. All he does is incinerate and... Hold on, we'll see. Oh, immolate, that's nice. So if you get near him, if you like do physical damage, he hurts you, I guess. He's getting down. He's getting down. What is this buff we have? Harsh lesson, what does that mean? It doesn't say. Harsh lesson. Yeah, do you see the deep buff? That. Oh, I got it. Maybe that's because I got sent into one of the, uh... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that means you can't get sent he assigned me a He assigned me a harsh lesson. Does that mean that I can't get another one, or can I get two harsh lessons? Well, that's a lot of harsh lessons. wonder why he isn't doing it again. Does he only do one every time? I, I guess, guess this isn't heroic, so... Let's kill this guy. Die, master. Death, Death PH. PH. Oh... Didn't have enough deodorant. Lesson learned, viewer. Lesson learned. Eat All a well-balanced diet. Wear deodorant. Remember last time there was a, a a guy down here and you had to get the deed. Yeah. Like like back in uh, before Cataclysm, you had to get the deed off the guy, and that's where you got the be the Barov peasant caller, where you could call the peasants like the bell. Mm-hmm. So there's nothing down here now, so I'm not sure. This is what dropped the ancient bone bow. And I got that on my hunter. And I still have it. Really curious how this relates to uh, Lillian Voss's quest. Again, if you haven't played the initial Undead Starting Zone uh, 1 through 10, go back and play that just to experience that storyline. It goes throughout the entire zone. Like, you meet her when you first are resurrected. And then she's like, I need some help, please. Why am I undead? And then um, she freaks out and hates the fact she's undead. And then she goes on like a killing spree. And pretty much becomes a Super Saiyan by the end of it. It goes throughout the entire zone. It's really cool. I suggest you play it. Anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, Crendor and I will be back with some other videos, hopefully very shortly. Exploring different things, doing different things. And uh, for now, that's it for the new dungeons. Thank you for watching. Uh, go to YouTube.com slash Yeah. And yeah, yeah.
And as always, to be continued. See ya.